Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about super keyword in System Vlog classes. In the last session, we have discussed about this keyword, right? Similarly, this super is also one keyword which is used in the derived class to refer to the base class. Okay, which is the super keyword is used in the child or derived class to refer to the immediate base class. When I say immediate base class, you need to understand I am talking about multi-level inheritance. Okay, multi-level inheritance means what? The extended class will be extended further, right? For that last extended class, the parent is nothing but the base class is nothing but the extended class which is extended before, right? For that time, if you use a super dot the met, uh, super dot method, it will point to the immediate base class. Okay, it will not point to the the first parent class. That is what I meant. Okay, this super keyword is used in the derived class to refer to the immediate base class. Here we will see one example. This is my base class. Okay, I have a function display and this is my derived class. This is here also I have a same display method. So now consider if I commented it. Okay, consider I have commented super dot display line. Now if I call the display method by using the child handle, what I will get? I will get the child class method, right? I will not get the parent class method even though if I have the same name because it will override the child class will override the parent class method then how I can get the parent class method in the last ex example we have discussed how to access the parent class method if I declare the parent class handle and if I uh, allocate the memory that means if I create the object for the parent handle then by using the parent class handle I can access but I don't want to create the object for parent class I don't want to use the parent handle then how we can access the parent method by using the super keyword okay and one more thing is super dot display always refer to the immediate base class okay so this is my immediate base class super dot display in the same function function display if i call super dot display that time it will point to the base class it will go to the base class and it will search where the display is where display method is there so there it will go and it will perform the function and again it comes back and the next line will be executed this is how the super keyword works okay and here the super keyword is used in a child or derived class to refer to the class members of its immediate base class in the case of multi-level inheritance class members are inherited one level up right so uh, we have discussed before only this multi-level inheritance here the class members are inherited one level up when we are using the super keyword and super dot super dot the class member is not allowed okay in multi-level inheritance as i given an example right um the first class is uh, the when class is there it will be extended and again that derived class will be extended further that is multi-level inheritance here i have a two derived class one parent class and one child class which is derived from the parent class and this derived class again extended further that time if you use you can't use super dot super and the class method in order to access the first parent method okay this is not allowed only super dot method is allowed class members are inherited one level up okay not two level and by default the system will compiler calls super dot new function calls automatically from the extended class here uh, we have seen right in the inheritance if we have a same variable in the base class and parent class that time the memory will be created for base class and child class right then how it will be created this is the internal method and this is the internal um, process okay how the memory will be allocated for the base class by default the system will compiler calls the super dot new you you no need to write super dot new it is by default it will call okay from the extended class but if there are any arguments used in the new function call then the user has to call super dot new and the argument list explicitly so this is when we don't have the arguments okay when you have the arguments then you need to call separately because we are passing the arguments right we are giving the values so that's why we need to write explicitly we need to call explicitly super dot new in the extended class we will see everything in the example so this is the example for without super keyword okay here i have not used the super keyword and i will run the code okay so this is my parent class inside the parent class i have a data and display method and inside the child class inside the derived class again i have a data and again i have a data and display method so in the module what i am doing i am 
creating the object for child class handle i am assigning the uh, value for the child class property and i am calling the child class method by using the child class handle if i run the code i will get the method of the child class right this one i will get i will not get the base class method because it will override right with this we have already known this will override so we will get the child class method then in order to get the base class method then how we can do one method is we in the last example we have seen by creating the memory for the parent handle so i don't want to create the parent handle then how i can access the parent class method by using the super keyword super dot display now what it will indicates super dot display when i call super dot display it goes to some base class method it will search for the display and it got this method and this will be printed and next again it comes back this line will be executed okay now i have i have to get to okay base and child right base and child so here i am getting zero value for data base uh, this data i am getting zero so then i want different value okay then how i can do super dot data equals to um, five okay okay this is also five right ten now value of data equals to a and value of data equals to 5 a means in hexa format it is there okay 10 means a right so this is how we can use the super keyword and we can't use the super keyword in multi level inheritance okay even though if we use multi level in the super super keyword in the multi level inheritance it will refer to the immediate base class okay immediate base class that is one thing we have to remember so this is the example for usage of the super keyword in the constructor when the constructor has a arguments that time how we can use the super keyword okay this is my parent class the name of the class is parent class i have a data and one constructor okay in the constructor i am passing the arguments bit 32 32 bit data i am passing and i am assigning that to the variable class property okay data is a class property so i am that that's why i am using this okay we have discussed in the last class right uh, where to use the this keyword so here i'm using c and in the child class i have a data and here also i have a constructor and what i'm doing in the constructor i'm calling the new constructor of the base class by using the super keyword super dot new and i'm passing the data p because my constructor of the base class has the arguments right data it has a argument that's why i'm calling the super dot new with the argument and again after this this dot data equals to data c data c which is i am passing in the new constructor of the child class and here i am printing and in the module i created the object with the arguments 5 and 7 so when i called new of 5 comma 7 it goes to the child class constructor 5 comma 7 5 is nothing but data p so that i am passing in the parent class object, constructor so this 5 will be assigned to the this parent class data okay data value is 5 and this data c is nothing but 7 right 7 is assigned to the data of the child class so this data is 7 so here i will get 5 and 7 value of data is 5 value of data is 7 okay this is the new constructor so now we will see the example without the arguments for the constructor so this is the example for constructor without arguments that time we don't have to call the super dot new explicitly okay because automatically it will call internally super dot new will be called automatically internally okay so this is the parent trans data and id on display method and in the derived class i have only one data and no i here i have don't i don't have a id and only one data is there and display method inside the module i am creating the handle for parent class and child class and i am creating memory only for the child class handle okay i am creating the object for child class and i am allocating the values for child class members 
data and id equals to 5 and 2 and this is the important thing i'm assigning the child class handle to the parent class handle okay so if i'm assigning the child class handle to the parent class handle what it means it is pointing to the child class right parent class handle is pointing to the child class since ptr has a memory i can do this if ptr has no memory then how i can do here see i am using parent class handle if it since it has a memory i can use the parent class handle right without creating the memory we can't access the properties with the handle that means internally it calls super dot new for the base class that's why i can use the parent handle okay and one more thing is even though if it is pointing to the child class memory right ctr ptr equals to ctr that means parent class handle is pointing to the child class object child class child class memory so even though it is pointing but when we call the methods by using the parent handle it will not points to the child class method okay it will not points to the child class method it will call the parent class method only because uh, here we have one concept polymorphism in oops we have a concept polymorphism there we will get the child class method by using the parent class handle when we call ptr dot display it will points to the child class memory there also we use this ptr equals to ctr okay there we will get the child class method but in this we will not get the child class method because here uh, this is not a polymorphism this is separate concept polymorphism and here uh, for that in order to get the child class method we have some requirements i will tell you in the uh, polymorphism video okay everything so this is the example to show you that uh, super dot new will be called internally okay this is the example to show that the super dot new will be called internally in the when we call the new constructor when we call this new method for the child handle super dot new will be called automatically in internally it will be called okay that's why we are accessing the methods and properties using the ptr handle since it creates the object for the base handle we can use without creating the memory how we can access right we can't access that's why it, uh, it, this is the proof for internal super dot new call okay that's why we are accessing the parent class method by using the parent class handle here you can see value of data is 10 and 1 value of data is 5 and 1 because id is only for parent not for child right that's why we are getting a different value for data and same value for id so this is all about super keyword thank you